Hello, and welcome back to another 642 Tiny Things to Rob update. We are starting with a number on a rotary phone, and I specifically chose to include the number zero because that includes the word operator and has the little latchy thing, so I had more to draw. This is colored in with Artist Loft colored pencil. I use a micron to outline and do the scribble shading, and the red lettering is done with a grabby acrylic paint marker. I chose red because I thought that would pop. Here's the finished doodle. Next up, we have a flashlight bulb, so I started by drawing a tiny light bulb. I did all the shading with graphite, pushing harder for darker areas and then less pressure for lighter areas, and I also used the eraser to erase some of the graphite to make a highlight when i was done with that i took a micron to outline it deepen some of those shadows and then scribble in the background because it looked plain and boring and lastly was the fun part which was adding the light by taking a yellow grabby acrylic paint marker i put down a small glob of paint and then smeared it outward with my finger repeatedly to get this really big glow a very cartoonish glow but a glow nonetheless moving down one panel we have a calculator battery which i was very much not excited to draw I didn't plan this out at all. I completely winged it. Here I am filling in the background to mimic the Energizer battery packaging. And now here I am drawing in the batteries themselves with a silver paint pen. I gave it a little bit of a shadow with Micron and then a bit of a highlight with a white acrylic paint pen. And then I called it done enough. There they are. Next up, we have a music box ballerina. And I went simpler with this one just to make it easier on myself because there's not a lot of space here. This is all colored in with Artist Loft colored pencil. I gave her a pink and purple dress with a blue background because I thought those colors looked good together. I was thinking about dipping different colors, but then I was like, eh, no, I'll stay on theme. However, I did try to make her skin darker because when I was looking at reference photos, all of the ballerinas were light skin, and I'm like, well, that's stupid. However, this pencil ended up being lighter than expected, so I apologize. I drew a little bit of the ballerina behind her just to make it obvious that that random white circle in the background is actually a mirror, and I framed that with a silver acrylic pink pen because that's pretty. This is outlined in Micron, however, I did fuck up the line a little bit in the top of the skirt, so I'm mad about that, but overall, I think she came out really cute. Next, we have a shoelace hole, and this one's really boring. I put some base shading down with graphite, as I usually do. And I put long cross-hatching lines in with graphite as well to try to get that, like, canvas texture. However, it didn't really show up once I put the colored pencil down. I outlined in Micron, and I did some cross-hatching shading in Micron. However, I did not record that. We're gonna skip ahead to the next prompt, which is a pomegranate seed, and I tried really hard with this one. I noticed that pomegranate seeds are kind of like lopsided, slightly overlapping honeycomb shapes, so I did my best to emulate that. And then I attempted to do a gradient of reds with darker red, almost black on the outside, fading in towards like a little orange center where the seed itself is. But I didn't think that blended very well, so then I went over top of the colored pencil with Art Deco watercolor. I think I used only one shade of red, and I used a little bit of brown. Oh, look, my camera is sliding. I used a medium reddish brown on the edges to darken those shadows, which really helped. And I used a white paint pen for highlights. Here it is finished. I think it came out decent. Now we have a tuning fork, and I did base shading in graphite, and then I used Arteco watercolor again to fill it in. I used all shades of metallic pink and purple because I was bored with this prompt, and I wanted to do something fun, and sparkly pretty colors are fun. I filled in the background with a mint green and added some darker green and blue in the corners because I like my gradients, and yes, the background is also all sparkly colors. When all of that dried, I outlined it in Micron and added a little bit more shading with hatching in Micron, and then I added some really stupid simple flowers to the background because, again, boredom. Here's the finished shoelace hole and tuning fork. And that concludes this update. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the link in the description box if you would like to see more of me. Okay, bye!